want to dominate PvP, the Dark Zone, or anything that comes your way, well, this build is the best PvP out of any other PvP build that's out there. Shotguns, no problem. SMGs, no problem. Whatever gets thrown at you, you'll smack them around and call them Susie. And I'm calling this my Terminator build. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Asiva, this is Laserbolt, and today I bring to you guys the best, yes, you guys heard it correctly, the best PvP build you could possibly get to dominate not only the Dark Zone, but even if you bring this out into PvE, you're still going to be wrecking people. The raid is going to seem like a piece of cake. Everything that you touch within the division will just melt like butter, and you're just going to obliterate not only the competition, but also the NPCs. This build is by far the best one, and it has the best synergy out of every build that has been created. Trust me when I tell you guys, you are definitely going to want to run this build. Now, before we get started with the build, I want to remind you guys about our monthly giveaway. We're giving away a free copy of Shakiro this month for the console of your choice. If you want to participate and join, all you got to do is click the link down below where it says Join Bull Nation. Once you join, you guys will be automatically entered. So good luck to everyone that's participating. All right, so just like we always do, guys, we're going to start off with the attributes. What is the target? What are we looking for? What should we definitely be trying to obtain when we get the attributes for this build so there's going to be two things that you're going to have to focus when getting this build we'll explain why further in the video why this is our requirements and some of you who are used to builds you guys are going to kind of get an idea what i'm going with with this build once you see the attributes so for the first attribute we are going to want to make sure that our blue is a number 11. you want to make sure that it's 11 it could go higher than 11, but it cannot dip below 11. You want to make sure that you are hitting 11. Now, for our red attribute, we want to make sure that that attribute is hitting 3 or lower. You have to make sure you're on 3 or lower. If you go any higher than 3, then you goofed up. You want to make sure that it's 3 or lower. Now, for our yellow attribute, we want to make sure that it's also a 7 or higher. It's very hard to get it 7 or higher, but you want to make sure it's 7. You do not want to go below 7. You want to make sure it's 7 because the talent that we're going to be using with this one actually has a requirement of 7. So definitely make sure you're hitting that 7 mark. Now that we got the attributes out of the way, let's talk about what weapons we're going to be using. For our primary weapon, guys, we're going to be running the custom P416, or it could just be any P416 that you have. The talents you're going to be looking for this one is Optimus. I believe Optimus is really good. I like range, but I think Optimus for this particular build works well because you will be taking damage in PvP. And if you're wondering what exactly does Optimus do, it says weapon damage is increased by 3%. For every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So if you're running a 50 clip, every time you lose 10 rounds of your mag, you're going to be outputting more additional damage, making it a really good talent. For our second talent, we're going to want to run Allegro. This is not a requirement, but it would be very beneficial if you're able to roll one with Allegro. Basically what Allegro does, it says rate of fire is increased by 10%. Remember, the faster you shoot your bullets, the more damage you will be getting because we're trying to tap into that Optimus, so the synergy works perfect right there. And for our holster talent, we're going to run Protective Reload. While equipped, this weapon grants 10 bonus armor while reloading. Remember, since you're going to be running your clip really fast, every time you reload, you're going to be getting your health. This gives you by far the best synergy out of any other talents you could put within the p416 all right so for our secondary weapon we're going to be running a an exotic and that is going to be the nemesis the only reason we're running the nemesis is because we want the preparation talent it says while holster gain 25 percent headshot damage when scoped with your current weapon remember in order for this to actually proc you do have to put the scope i think is a 3.5 or the 3.4 scope on your 416 in order for this to proc so do keep that in mind guys you want to make sure you have that equipped so you could proc that 25 percent headshot damage all right for our third dairy weapon guys we're just looking for the talent and the talent we're looking for which is going to be our holster talent is called protected deploy not protective reload but protective deploy it says while equipped this weapon grants 10 percent bonus armor while deploying a skill remember during pvp or during pve you are going to be getting shot anytime you drop that heal down it's going to give you a 10 percent bonus armor 
giving you more survivability when engaging the team. So you want to make sure you definitely have protective deploy on your third dairy. Now on to the gear guys, we're going to get started of course with our mask and the mask we're going to be picking this time around is going to be a brand called Gilligard. Now the reason we're going with Gilligard is because it's going to give us the advantage of having one blue and two yellows. We definitely want to make sure we're prioritizing the blues when we're picking the mask, but we also remember want to have yellows because we want to use our skills as well. So if you could get a mask with one blue, one yellow, and maybe a gear mod that allows you to put an extra yellow, that would be ideal. Or if you could get one with two blues that allows you to put a yellow, that would be ideal as well. But most technically, when it's a Gilligard, you want to make sure you get that blue and that yellow with that gear slot of that yellow. Now, the talent we're going to be using here is called Spotter. Now, Spotter, for this build in particular, is a requirement because this is going to allow you to do a ton, a ton of massive damage. And you're definitely going to want to watch the rest of the video because I'll let you guys know exactly what are the numbers you'll be able to get with this build that's going to be massive amount of damage you're going to be outputting. So, Spotter is definitely a requirement. Basically, if you're wondering what Spotter does, is it gives you plus 20 weapon damage to pulsed enemies. Now, there is a requirement for this one because it requires for more utility. So remember, you want to make sure you hit that 5 on the utility or else you won't be able to use Spotter. So Spotter definitely requires you to hit that 5. So you once again, guys, you want to make sure you hit that 5 when running your utilities. All right, so now let's talk about the backpack. Now, for the backpack, guys, we are going to be having a couple requirements. Now, the backpack that I personally have has these attributes. Now, I would recommend if you guys have a different brand that you might want to go with, you guys are more than welcome to, but I'm going to give you the requirements that are needed for the backpack. Number one requirement, guys, you want to make sure it has two blues and it has two yellows. So, basically, I went with an Alp Summit. The Alp Summit gives you the ability of having two blues and it allows me to stack up two more yellows in gear mods so that's the way i have the two blues and the two yellows number one requirement from this one of course is getting the two blues and the two yellows and we have one more additional requirement and that of course is the talent we want to make sure that our backpack has a talent called on the ropes now on the ropes requires to have seven or more utilities that's why this build is very vital to make sure we're hitting those talent requirements because the synergy with all these talents make this build really good. For those of you wondering what On The Ropes does, it says weapon damage is increased by 25% while all skills are in cooldown or reach zero charges. Now remember, you are going to be using spotter, so when you use spotter, that particular skill will go on cooldown. So you have a probability of getting 25 damage here if you guys are proccing your skill cooldown with On The Ropes. Now, sometimes these backpacks come with an additional talent. I always like to drop Vital in here because I feel it's a really good talent to have and it makes the build perfectly. Now, I, of course, will break the synergy with all the talents towards the end of the video, so you're definitely going to want to make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, on to the vest. Now, for the vest, guys, we're going to be using a Fenris group. Now, the cool thing about the Fenris group is from the Fenris group, we're getting that 10% assault rifle damage. So remember, we're using a primary, which is an assault rifle. So you want to make sure we're tapping into that assault, uh, you know, assault rifle damage. In addition to that, guys, we want to make sure that a priority for this vest is the fact that we're at least able to get two blues. You want to make sure you get two blues. So usually, technically, if you get a Fenris group, it will drop with one blue. And you're going to be able to apply a gear mod that's going to give you another blue. So you want to make sure you get at least one blue and an additional blue. Another thing that's going to be a requirement for this build is the Bloodsucker perk. Now, the Bloodsucker perk is going to require you to have 11 of more in order to use it. So remember, we talked a little bit earlier in the attributes. You and I told you guys it's a requirement to have the 11. It's only because we're going to be using this Bloodsucker vest. Now, if you're wondering what exactly does Bloodsucker do, it's depleting an enemy's armor adds a stack of plus 25 bonus armor for 10 seconds. It stacks maximum six times. So basically, you're able to stack this six times, which will make you a complete tank. Because remember, guys, you are going to be depleting enemies' armor, and this is going to give you massive bonus boost, which will allow you to not only take out shots, but also dish out shots. This is where you're going to be getting most of your tankiness from, and this is what's going to kind of make you a unstoppable terminator 
wrecking havoc within PvE and also in PvP. Now, sometimes this backpack does drop with an additional talent slot. So if you want to go ahead and put an additional talent slot, you could always run vital or usually tends to drop with hard hitting. If you're doing PvE, stick with hard hitting. If you're running a, something more like a PvP focus build and you're always playing PvP, you're going to want to go with a more PvP focus uh, talent. Vital is something I highly recommend you guys definitely consider. Now on to our gloves. So for our gloves, guys, we're going to be using our brand called Gilligard. Now the reason why we're using the brand Gilligard is for me personally, this is the only way I am able to get two blues and one yellow. Now, of course, the reason why I want to get two blues and one yellow is because I want to make sure I'm hitting my attribute targets. Remember, that is the main priority of this build. Make sure you're hitting your attribute targets so we could tap into these talents. Now, another reason why I run Gilligard is because it gives me, it lets me get those two blues in that yellow, which is kind of like a requirement, but it also lets me run compensated because Gilligards tend to drop with two blues and one yellow, and it also drops with a talent. So you want to make sure that one of the biggest requirements of the gloves is compensated. What does compensated do? It says weapon damage is increased by 15% when your critical hit chance is below 20%. This is definitely a monster to have, guys, because I will explain a little bit later. When the full synergy works with this build, it is a monster, guys. You are a tank and a healer all in one. You are the Terminator. Now, on to the holster, guys. Now, for the holster, we're going to be running a brand called Petrov Defensive Group. Now, the reason we're running this is particular is because this is not going to give us any option to put any talents in here. But what it will allow us to do is to be able to have two yellows and one blue. You want to make sure when you guys get your holster that it drops with two yellows and one blue the reason why you want to make sure this drops with two yellows and one blue is because we want to make sure we're hitting the numbers that we had with our attributes this is what's going to make this build extremely well even though we're losing on not putting a talent here the talent we're going to be using next is going to be so vital and so important to this build that it doesn't really hurt us to lose talents within the holster all right so now on to our last set of gear which is our knee pads now for our knee pads guys we are going to be running the Gilligards. Now, the reason why we're running Gilligards, guys, is because this is the only set that allows us to get three, a whopping three blues, guys. It's going to, all, all of them drop with three blues. It drops with one, and you're able to stack two, uh, two additional gear mods in here, which will give you a total of three blues. Now, with this one in particular, the only main requirement is to make sure it's a Gilligard, and you want to make sure you have a talent called Patience. Now, Patience, it's a really good talent. And it usually tends to roll a lot when you guys pick up Gilligards. The reason why is because even though we don't need a lot of health, Patience is going to give us the ability of get our armor back when in cover. Usually when we're in PvP, we're going to be getting shot a lot. We're going to be in cover a lot. So Patience is a very vital talent to have because it's going to give you the ability of regening your armor while you're in cover. For those of you who want to know what Patience is, this is after being in cover for five seconds armor repairs by five percent every one second so it's a really good talent to have and it never hurts to have a talent that actually gives you more health while you're in cover all right so now guys on to the numbers mason the numbers mason the numbers yeah so for the numbers we're going to be talking about targets you want to hit so i'm going to give you guys the ones you want to make sure you're constantly hitting of course for the attributes you want to make sure you have that 3117 that is going to be your target now what makes this build extremely amazing is that it allows you to have a plus 200k armor and it also lets you have a whopping 300k health every single time this makes you a monster it makes you a tank it makes you a terminator in addition to that guys you are also going to be doing a ton of damage because the synergy on this build, it gives you the perfect combination of doing damage and just being a tank. You are going to be getting a total of 60% weapon damage just on talent alone. Basically, it's Berserker with armor. Basically, that's just the best way to put it. What you will be doing is you're going to be getting and tapping into... 25 percent damage from on the ropes remember weapon damage increases by 25 seconds while all skills are in cooldown that's giving you 25 if you proc spotter 
that's giving you 20 more damage, right? Because if you spot her, it's going to give you plus 20 weapon damage. That's a total of 45 damage just on spotter and on the ropes proc. Now, in addition to that, guys, we're also adding the talent, which is compensated. It says weapon damage is increased by 15% when your critical hit chance is below 20%. So you guys see the synergy here. This is the 60% damage we're getting just off of three talents alone. So the ideally what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get all rid of all your skills. Of course, spotter's gonna be your last skill you're gonna get rid of. That's gonna proc on the ropes. You get that additional 20% from spotter. You're tapping into that 25 from on the ropes and compensated is kicking it at the same time giving you a whopping 60% weapon damage just on three talents. In addition to that, guys, if that wasn't enough, we're also tapping into the talent, which is Patience and Bloodsucker. This is where we're getting our heals from. Basically, Bloodsucker, it says depleting enemy's armor, adds a stack of 25 bonus armor for 10 seconds. You're getting that 25% back, and if you are behind cover, you're getting your armor back with repairs for 5% every one second. So this build right here, guys, will automatically wreck any build. Currently, right now in PvP, this will smack dab any build. Shotgun builds are un obsolete with this build. Trust me when I tell you guys, if you put this build together, you guys are going to be monsters in the dark zone, occupied or non-occupied. Basically, you know what you're going to do? You're going to make the occupant zone, when it's occupied, unoccupied because people are not going to want to fight against you. Now, if you're wondering what type of specialist you want to run with this one, one that I want to recommend is the gunner. The gunner works really good with this build. I would suggest that one, but basically any other one would work. Me personally, I like to go with the gunner due to the fact that it does give you additional help and support when it comes to be putting this build together. But now it's time for you guys to chime down in the comment section down below. Let me know what do you guys think of this build. Would you change anything in this build? Would you think that we needed to add something, remove something, or what is your overall opinion? I do want you guys to put this build together, try it out. It works as good as it does in PvP, as it does in PvE. This is definitely the best build out of there when it comes to not using skills. It's just a monster, guys. Trust me when I tell you. I do hope you guys did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, guys, do me the huge favor. Drop a like. Share this video with your friends because that does help me out a lot. The more likes we get on this video, the most exposure we get. So I really would appreciate it if you guys did help me out in that way. If you want to show additional love and support, consider joining the Bolt Nation to join. It's super easy. All you got to do is click the link down below where it says join Bull Nation. You will be joining the Bull Nation and you will be also unlocking exclusive features only found in the channel. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget WGATAP and I will catch you guys on the next video.